Hello again. We are today with Laur, the first finalist from the team Procrastinator. And we are going to ask him some technical questions. Okay, so Laur, welcome. You've made it. So we have the final set up between you and Zero Ones Given. How do you feel about that? How do you feel your logic compares up with theirs? Uh, well, I think it was surprisingly tight when we last time met them in the other semi-final, but unfortunately we had some configuration problems in the first match, so we kind of forfeited that one, and well, then the rest were one to one, so I think we have a chance, although, yeah, they are looking strong. <laughs> okay, so can you tell us a little bit about how you set up your logic with, uh, with your bots? What's your game plan? Yeah, sure. We are actually running a fairly simple, uh, like a greedy, greedy algorithm. You could say that tries to uh, root to the ball and then take it to the goal. There are some, there's some uh, rooting magic and uh, some some heuristics to unstuck the robot, for example. But yeah. in the end, it's surprisingly simple, I would say. <laughs> okay, and did you use the Unity simulator or Zero Ones, or how did you do Yeah, that? we actually used the Zero Ones simulator. Oh, okay. That seemed to work fairly well, although obviously there's some yeah, differences. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, with Unity you do have a lot of flexibility, but it's a lot more... You have to set it up from scratch, really. Yeah. So it does have present its own problems. Yes. But uh, as for how your uh, robot has worked for this one, how would you s compare it to your victory in 2018? Mm, well, that one was obviously for the different uh, challenge. It was the track uh, uh, with the Lego robots, but... Um, hmm. Well... Uh, Is in a technical challenge, how would you compare the two? Ah, right, yeah, so... I would say... It's surprisingly different, because... I. This one is more about uh, routing and using the mm. overhead camera data, while uh, in the 2018 you have the sensors on the robot mostly so, and different kind of challenges like uh, finding a way through the maze or battling it in the arena, pushing Absolutely. the other robot on the side. So. But was it more difficult this year? or? I would say overall maybe this is more challenging and maybe it's uh, nicer to focus on like one challenge at a time because that track uh, consists of like five different pieces. Okay, well that's good to hear. We'll let you get back to it and we'll just ask your teammate Sammy a few Thank other you. questions. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello and welcome to the a little bit nicer questions right now <laughs> just about how do you feel as the finalist? How are the emotions in your team? Well we are very thrilled to be in the finals because like all the matches we've played have been extremely tight. First against Zero Ones Given, then against Isodoy, then again against Isodoy. And both of those matches, they were like real, super they were tight. so, they, super they were tight. super tight. And also with the match with Zero Ones Given, like one, two, and the th last match was, it was quite tight. So I'm really looking forward to our rematch with the Zero Ones Given, because also like last year, Zero was given, they had like a massive cannon that shot balls mm. and it was extremely cool. Yeah. And th they, they obviously like put a lot of effort into their stuff. So, so it, will be, it will be very nice to race against them again. Absolutely. And I don't mean to hype it up any more than it already is. But given you're the winners of 2018 and they were the winners of 2019 and you two are in the final, this really will determine who is the current historical robot uprising king. How will you celebrate if you win? Well, we really haven't thought about that because <laughs> we weren't that sure whether our performance would be so good that we, w we would be in the finals and have a chance at winning. But I think we'll have to think, th think of something. Okay. Yeah, you still have a little bit of time. Yeah. And can you maybe give some advices to our viewers or maybe even future participants? Well, I'm really that much of a coder, but I can say that simple is often like the best way forward, especially in, in hackathons like this, because like, for example, we, we tried, tried a bit more complex thing and then we pitted it up against this like fairly simple logic that we now have and the simple logic one. And it was, yeah, so simple often beats like non-simple. 
Okay, and my final question for you is, are you intimidate, intimidated at all by Zero One's outfits? And will you have your own outfits next Ooh. year? Well, that's a tough question. We'll have to think about that. But uh, I think that we, we saw those outfits last year, so we are kind of used to them already. Oh. Well, they, they were a lot more... Yeah, yeah. yeah. The intimidation we are, we are used to, yeah. is worn off. Zero yeah, yeah, it's worn off. I think that they need to get another costume next year. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that's all for now. <laughs> we'll be back for the final very shortly, so stay tuned, and we'll have a, f uh, a crowned winner. See you in soon. In a few minutes. Thank you.